Hi guys, Lee from Old School Window Cleaners. This is today's job. Customers only moved in four months ago and they wanted a deep clean of all the frames, sills, guttering, fascia boards, soffits. As you can see, it's, um, it's pretty grubby. I've already cleared the guttering out and the front's all been done. And I thought this would be a good opportunity, especially out the back, to be able to, um, to show how bad it is. As you can see, as I said, it's, it's pretty grubby. So I've sped the video up because you guys don't need to stand there watching me work at normal pace. <laughs> um, I have to excuse my facial expressions. I'm in quite a bit of pain working away there today. I have a tendonitis in my shoulder and golfer's elbow that's playing me up at the moment. So I'm having to work through a bit of uh, discomfort, shall we say. But we've gone with the Ubic 2000 today. We normally use screw fix, no nonsense, heavy degreaser. Um, and I've always found that to be pretty good, but I've read a lot of things about the Ubic being really good for shifting the grime and the grease. And um, it's about seven or eight pound more. So I thought I'd give it a go when I was really impressed with the results today. It's um, I think I've actually cleaned quicker with the Ubic today than with the no nonce. I think it's cut through the, the dirt and the grime and I think the results have been better. I did have a little bit on the front of uh, tiger striping when I was first when I first got there, which I pointed out to the customers sometimes, you know, you, you can't quite get that off if it's been stained for so long. But to be fair, the Ubic shifted the whole lot. There was there was nothing left behind and it, it left it perfectly white. I'm not saying it's always gonna do that, but using it today was much better. So it's wet all the surfaces down first. Then I just had a bucket of Ubic diluted. And I just dipped the brush head in and then just scrubbed over all the frames and the glass, gutters, fascias and soffits. Um, and then just rinsed off and, and brushed as I rinsed just to re-agitate again. And just if there was anything that I kind of missed the first time, but to be fair, it just rinsed off perfect. And as you can see that the results are really good. That's a Gardner CLX 22 brush that I use. And it's got a Gardner Extreme brush on the brush head on the end. And clean out all the trap inside there. Of leaves and muck and stuff. And if you just swell that through, there should be a little vent on the, the end of that for the water to just uh, seep out at the bottom, like a little valley if you like, <laughs> a little miniature valley. But really impressed with the Ubic today. It's, um, it's it was a tough test for it as well. To be fair, as you've seen at the beginning, it was um, there's a lot of green and a lot of grubbiness there, but it, it really did perform well. And I found it shifted everything off the glass as well. If there were any bits of pollen spots or anything like that, it, it seemed to just shift a lot. And when I'd finished, the customer came out and he was he was really shocked. It was a really nice reaction from the customer to, you know, to see how white everything was again. And as you can see, it really does look nice. I did go along afterwards and wipe the seals again with a with a dry cloth because there was a few little bits that had come out afterwards, but it had really cleaned up nice. I, was, I shall certainly be using the Ubic again. Any questions or comments, please pop them in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.